one more question, sir. Uh, sir, in USA, uh, what is DO? Uh, I, some people are saying there's something like MD and DO, separate. Oh, that, that's, that's the osteopathic, right? So basically, like you have a DNB, they have an osteopathic medicine as well. There are two different pathways. See, traditionally, they do it through the MCAT, and then they do their training, residency, and then all that. That's a regular MD. The DO, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, it is equivalent, like same with our DNB, it is an equivalent thing. But they do some extra things, you know, in their curriculum. Apart from that, for all practical purposes, if they want to apply for fellowship, they are eligible and they are treated on par with an MD. So it is pretty much the same. International students can apply? Say it again. Uh, can we as international students can also apply for the same? No, you know, you, you can they practice like anybody else? Uh, no, uh, like if can we apply for DO, like we apply for MD? Oh, in a private DO? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's a training program. They undergo that. It's not that you can buy or it's like, not like a diploma or a thing that you buy. No, it's a proper, some other residency programs have got DO pathway. So you go through the proper training in that and then you get licensed. So in addition to the regular thing, they have some extra things that they can do like a chiropractor practice, you know, and some other things are there. Apart from that, it's on par with anything. Oh, after MBBS? Yes, uh, yes. Like with USMLE we right. apply. No, no, the, the track usually starts through their MBBS itself. So usually it is open for candidates from Canada or the US system, right? See, there is another section that is a big population in the US. The American graduates that could not get into the American system, they end up going to the Caribbean schools. University School of Medicine, Ross School of Medicine, University of Antigua, the Caribbean, Barbados. All these medical schools, they do their preclinicals there and they get back into the U.S. To the, for the clinicals. Now, the reason why the Indian doctors are finding it difficult to get into the U.S. system is because of this. So, for all practical purposes, these doctors, even if they are American citizens, they are considered international medical graduates. The minute you graduate, even if you are American citizen, from outside of the U.S. medical school, you are an international graduate and you guys are going to compete with them. So, those people have a leverage of getting into the DO pathway, right? But I don't think our IMGs ever get into the DO pathway. I have heard that the combined now. Is it true? Say it again. I have heard that the DO and MD program is combined now. So is it true? Combined? Yes. Yes, sir. yes, you can do that. That's what I'm saying. So, you, there is an MD program itself that has got extra points. So, you get an MD and a DO. So you can't do an independent DO and practice, you won't get a license. So some extra sessions that they come across and they get that MD DO, osteopathic medicine.